What happened tonight? Went to your holiday party. And then now why are, why is it almost one o'clock in the morning and we're talking about Teddy Roosevelt? Because we drank a lot. Theodore Roosevelt was born into wealth on October 26, 1858. As a child, he was sick and asthmatic. Spent most of his time as a youth reading and doing taxidermy. When he got older, his father gave him advice that would stick with him the rest of his life. You must make your body. And then he like, got real strong. <laughs> <laughs> he began to box, row, hunt, and methodically train his body. He entered Harvard not only meticulously working out, but joining every club he could. That's him. That's him. That was when he went to Harvard. And he was kind of like a weirdo because he still collected weird specimens. And also <laughs> decided to write a naval history in college. And then his dad died. In college, he met a young woman named Alice Lee who would eventually become his wife. He became New York's youngest assemblyman. Here he began his lifelong fight against corruption and cronyism, much to the chagrin of the party leaders. When these party bosses thought he needed more persuasion, he yelled, Kick him in the balls! This was the same man he later threatened with a chair leg. On February 13, 1884, he received a telegram saying his wife gave birth to their daughter Alice. At home, he found his wife dying from Bright's disease and his mother dying from typhoid. They both died on the same day. To deal with his grief, he went out west to the Dakota Badlands to be a rancher and a cowboy. He loved the quiet and solitude of the West, but eventually got bored. Went out West and decided to own a cattle ranch and then all his cattle died. <laughs> While out West, he wrote to his sister saying, Black care rarely sits behind a rider whose pace is fast enough. Coming home from out West, he definitely embodied that sentiment. He became a civil service commissioner, police commissioner of the NYPD. Hey, you trying to bribe people? I'm the fucking commissioner. Vice Secretary of the Navy. He left that position to volunteer for the Spanish-American War where he led his troop of Rough Riders up San Juan Hill. His one regret was that he didn't get a ghastly wound. Coming home, he became governor of New York. He was named vice president as a means of ending his political career. Unfortunately, President McKinley was shot and he became president in 1901. As president, Theodore Roosevelt fought to make sure everyone had a square deal to help the common man and the give them a square fucking deal. He read a book a day and wrote 35 books in his lifetime. He boxed until he felt like he was too slow, then took up jujitsu. Punch him in the face! When he left the presidency, he relaxed by going on safari in Africa. When he lost his run for a third term, he went on an expedition to explore an uncharted Amazon river where he almost died. He never stopped moving. I like him because he was a badass. My name is Angela and I'm a Ted head. All right, so good night to Teddy. Good night, Teddy. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs>